What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're taking a look at the Warm Audio Iconic Vocal Chain that's available from Front End Audio. This is a bundle that Front End Audio is selling that's going to consist of the Warm Audio WA-8000, the WA-73EQ, and the new WA-1B. This is giving you a microphone, a channel strip, and compressor to record vocals through. So in this video, we are going to go over some examples that I've recorded with this vocal chain with uh, female vocals and rap vocals. And at the end, I'll give you my thoughts on them as well as give you my thoughts on uh, each piece of gear in this chain. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna take a closer look at what this bundle includes. So most of you probably already know what this gear is cloning, uh, but for those who don't know, let's quickly go over it. The microphone, the WA-8000, is a clone of the Sony C800G which is a $10,000 microphone. So we're calling this an iconic vocal chain because all of the pieces in this bundle are iconic. Uh, the channel strip is gonna be the WA-73EQ, which is a clone of the Neve 1073. And then the compressor, the WA-1B, is a clone of the TubeTech CL-1B, which is a $4,000 compressor. I really don't know what a real uh, 1073 cost, but if you look at the real cost of everything in this bundle, you're probably looking at somewhere under $20,000. And this bundle is available for right at $3,200, which yes, is expensive, but when you look at what you're getting, microphone, channel strip, and compressor, it comes out to a pretty good price for those three. But let's take a closer look at what you get in this bundle. All right, so here's the mic that comes with it. And this is a tube mic. Looking at the front, You've got cardioid and omni available. We've got the heat shrink just like the Sony C800G. And because this is a tube mic, we do have the power supply. Here's the shock mount, mic cable as well as power cable for the power supply. Now on my channel, I do have a full review of this microphone already as well as a video comparing this to an actual Sony C800G. Uh, so you can check my YouTube channel for those videos. Uh, but let's take a look at now uh, the channel strip and the compressor that comes with this bundle. Okay, so starting with the WA73EQ, uh, we've got line level that we can do if we want to use just the EQ section. Uh, we also have a mic input on the front as well as the back, which is good for convenience. We've got a DI here as well. And one thing about 1073 clones and 1073s in general is that uh, they do a lot of gain. So this goes up to, yeah, that's what I thought, 80 dB of gain. I've never used that much gain on a mic pre, but it is available. High pass filter. We've got a three band inductor based EQ, which I'm not really a fan of these EQ knobs. They're just really, really like loose and kind of flimsy uh, feeling. And I don't, I'm surprised that they did this completely variable because most warm gear is uh, detented for easy recall, but I don't know. They didn't do that on these EQs. So um, you can bring in the EQ uh, with that button. And where most gear 0 dB is going to be 12 o'clock, with this 0 dB is all the way clockwise. So you want to make sure you're at uh, 0 dB uh, when you're using this, unless you need to back it down some. All right, uh, looking at the compressor. Uh, so bypass it on and off here. Uh, we've got three different attack and release settings from fixed, fixed and manual, which means a fixed attack and manual release. And then manual, it means you have full control over the attack and release. I have two different side chains on this compressor as well that you can switch to in the back. Uh, for metering, we can do gain reduction input and output, pretty standard. Here's your uh, threshold, which this is detented. So there's like small steps in it, which is good for recallability. And we have your gain here as well. And then your power on the far right. Meter calibration in the front, which I really appreciate because it is hard to uh, put this at zero when the knob is in the back. And this is tube based as well. So we've got a tube mic, this is a tube compressor, and the channel strip, uh, while it's not tube, it is transformer balanced. We've got some Carnhill transformers in here. All right, let's listen to some examples. All right, so this is an artist named Zill, and we're going to play about eight bars of this verse that was recorded through this vocal chain. And with the compressor, we're doing about 7 dB compression at the peaks, which is a little more than I would normally do when recording rap vocals, but I just wanted to see how this compressor would react if I dug in with it a little more. Uh, being an opto compressor, it did prove to be uh, smooth as their reputation is for opto compressors. Well, let's take a listen. Hey. 
Yeah, I told my mama about that and her a crib. Not that they need it. I just want them to have a bigger spot to live. And one day I see myself having a wife and couple kids. It's the mantra of my life is saying, look at what he did. Boy, I'm blessed. Everything ain't perfect, but I'm living no stress. Whenever things ain't go right, I see it as a test. If I ever got to crawl, I'm still making progress. Yeah, I may have wanted more, but we could have had less. Let's all right, so overall, I am pleased with that. The microphone is a brighter mic, so we do have some S's that are sticking out just a little bit to me. It's not too bad, but it is noticeable uh, with the uh, WA73 EQ. I found that that channel strip adds some low mids, uh, so it's adding some warmth, and that's good to help balance out since the uh, WA8000 is such a bright mic. Now, that was doing uh, 7 dB of compression. I've got another take here where we did a negative 3 db of compression so a little bit less compression and let's uh take a listen to how that sounds get what he did well, i'm blessed yeah, let's mute that top one all right get what he did well, i'm blessed everything ain't perfect but i'm living no stress whenever things ain't go right i see it as a test if i ever gotta crawl i'm still making progress yeah i may have wanted more but we could have had less let's and one more time at 7 db Get what he did. Well, I'm blessed. Everything ain't perfect, but I'm living no stress. Whenever things ain't go right, I see it as a test. If I ever got a crawl, I'm still making progress. Yeah, I may have wanted more, but we could have had less. So we can, comparing the two, we can definitely hear there's more compression with the 7 dB, uh, but it's not sounding squashed, uh, which is good for it to have that much compression on it. All right, uh, let's move over to some female vocals. All right, so we got some female vocals here, and uh, this is an artist named The Hoodie Ninja. And we'll listen to two examples, one uh, going through the compressor and then one uh, without compression. Uh, we'll start with the one with compression. Hopping in your window, babe. I love you down, down, down. Time is moving too fast. Can we slow down? All right, and here's one without compression. So this is going to be a little louder because we're not it's not being compressed. Hopping in your window, babe. I love you down, down, down. Time is moving too fast. Can we slow down? I had a blast. All right, so overall, my thoughts on this one um, again, it is a, a bright microphone, so uh, it's a little too bright for me, but S's are sticking out just a little bit. Again, it's not too bad. Um, I guess for this to be such a bright microphone, the S's aren't sticking out as much as I would uh, think, uh, but. Uh, for this, I don't hear you know really much EQ. I'd have to. I probably would bring up some some more low mids to maybe balance this out um, a little more. But you know, overall, this and the rap vocal uh, both have clarity into it, uh, which is good. Uh, things get really present when you brighten them up. Uh, so both of the vocals are present. Uh, but uh, with this being such a bright mic, if you definitely have a S E vocalist, those S's can really uh, jump out and become a problem uh, really fast. Uh, but let's go over some uh, final thoughts. So uh, with the microphone, like I just said, it is a bright mic. So you just got to make sure that's what you're looking for and what you want um, in a microphone. And uh, looking at the uh, channel strip. So with the channel strip, uh, like I said before, it is adding some low mids. I'm not really a fan of Neve 1073 style uh, preamped for the most part. I really like BAEs, uh, but most of the clones I find are dark and muddy. While the warm is not dark and it's not muddy, I do feel for my personal preference it's a little more color than what I would normally go for on a uh, vocal. But again, the color that it adds, uh, just like the microphone, you want to make sure that that's the color and tone that you want because that's exactly what you're going to get uh, coming out of this, uh, coming out of that preamp. Uh, the EQ section on there, the EQ section is good. Uh, like I'm not a fan of the knobs on there, uh, but uh, very usable 
uh, EQ if you need to EQ something uh, with it. I find Neve 1073 EQs to be a little limiting sometimes. It's not something that you're going to go to if you want to do some really surgical work uh, and do a lot of cuts and all that. So normally when I use a 1073 style EQ, I'm just doing some gentle uh, adding some adding or cutting a little bit of low mids and uh, adding some presence. Really just doing some gentle uh, tone shaping with it is what I normally use a 1073 style EQ for. And the compressor. I really like this compressor. Uh, Y'all know that opto compressors are my favorite type of compressors. And this is so versatile having those three different attack and release uh, settings or options available. Uh, so I really like the compressor. Now, one thing that you can that I can say with this compressor is that I probably dug in maybe up to about 9 dB of compression at the most, and it still wasn't sounding squash, which is great. Uh, you never want a vocal to sound squash, especially if you're tracking through it too. And the tracking through this compressor was very easy. It was very easy to dial in, not something I had to fiddle with um, a lot. The fix setting worked in a lot of cases, or uh, the manual, I can quickly dial in the attack and release uh, that I wanted. It is way more different than using something like an 1176 that's so aggressive. I just like that smooth character of opto compressors and you really get that with this one. And bringing the compressor in and out, I will say really adds something to the sound, really noticeable that you really feel like you're missing something. If you've been tracking through it and then you bypass it, uh, you really feel like you're missing something with it, with this, uh, which is really interesting that I found. And one thing else I want to point out is that this bundle comes with some warm audio microphone cables. It comes with uh, three cables, and one of them is a short cable, which is great for going from uh, the preamp or the channel strip into the compressor. Uh, so you do get mic cables. You get everything that you need uh, with this bundle. Uh, but there's the warm audio vocal iconic chain. Definitely comment and let me know what y'all think. If you're using any one of these pieces of gear, let me know what you think. And uh, let me know what you think of these examples that I shared. And again, this is available at Front End Audio. And of course, I'll have a link in the description if y'all want to check it out and learn more about it or pick it up. All right. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if y'all want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do.